Here at Nexus, we're passionate about giving the teacher the opportunity to get away from the front of the class. No more sage on the stage. We all know that learning is much better when we're facilitating and helping the students direct their own learning. I'm going to show you two very, very quick products which can help you with that using an iPad or a tablet device. Most of you will already have either a laptop or a desktop computer at the front of the class, so that bit's sorted. You don't even need an Apple TV. The first product is called Splashtop. It's installed on your desktop or your laptop. I've got it installed on my MacBook Pro, and that's the screen that you can see behind you, behind me. Now, I'm going to use my iPad to take control of my desktop using Splashtop Whiteboard. So, what you can see behind me is my desktop, and that also is displayed on my iPad. So I'm controlling my desktop from my iPad. So the first thing I'm going to run are the tools that run like an interactive whiteboard. So you can see I've got a square grid, and on there I can use that to draw graphs or straight lines or arrows as I see fit. There we go, there's my first line. So I could actually draw an axis on this and recreate for my students a graph if I'm teaching maths, for example. Or I can change my background so that I have light paper for writing. You can see how that's slipped out of the way. And I can scribble away just with my pen. I can choose a colour there. You can see the colours I've got the options to use. And we might word storm with the students some ideas. Of course, what I can do is I can hand my iPad now to the students and they can write down their ideas and they can be shown on the board. Very, very easy, very, very simple. Similarly, I can choose, if I've got a range of things up on the board now, to highlight a particular area just using this circle. Or if I've got a picture that I wish to put in, you see I can choose there from a picture. Here's one I prepared earlier. Here's a nice picture of a school in Hong Kong, which I'm just going to pop that in there. And we're going to go there. Is it coming up? There it goes. A uh, nice picture of a school in, uh, in Hong Kong. You imagine they, they really do their high rise in Hong Kong. Um, so then I might decide that I'm going to reveal it slowly, just as you would with some of the interactive whiteboard software that you've seen. I know that Promethean Active Inspire has this kind of functionality. The difference is, of course, that you're controlling all of this from your iPad from anywhere in the room. Another way of operating this, which is actually a little bit more slick, is to beam what's on your iPad onto your computer screen. So again, you can see my computer screen behind me with my desktop, which I cleaned up before I made the video. And on my iPad, I'm just going to double click. I said I'm just going to double click. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to double click on the home bar there and you can see a list of icons and I'm going to scroll that all the way over to the right and if you can see it there I'll show it once it's on reflection I'm going to airplay to admin pro that's my MacBook I'm going to airplay it to my MacBook and now you can see my iPad screen and you can see the buttons that I press there you can see the uh, airplay button I'm just going to make that go away and I'm going to make that go away as well. And now, any application that I'm running is showing up on my screen. Okay, That means, of course, that I can use some of the interactive whiteboard tools, or I can use my iPad as a visualizer just by switching on the camera. If I switch on the camera, you'll be able to see what's coming up. And that's reflection. Very, very simple, but it makes your screen as powerful as your iPad. More videos to come, keep an eye out for them. Thanks ever so much for watching, goodbye.